story that needs to be told. It's 18 past the hour from our studios in Harlem. Let's go insider story with Jackie Reed. Good morning, Jackie. Jackie. Good morning, Skip. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Demetria. You guys are having way too much fun this morning. <laughs> Been listening. I just wanted to give a shout out uh, to myself <laughs> for my new uh, lifestyle website out there, vegansexycool.com. Everybody, check it out. Oh, do it's it, about Jackie. Veganism and living your best life. That's what's up. Um, but this morning, my guest does not want your pity. She wants you to see all of her. She was born with cerebral palsy and has overcome some pretty tough experiences, including being bullied as a child, suicidal thoughts, and having a contentious relationship with her identical twin sister who happens to be able-bodied with no physical disabilities. Now today she is living her best life as a writer and journalist who has written for Teen Vogue, Marie Claire, Harper's Bazaar, Essence, and many more. An activist creating the hashtag disabled and cute, which went viral. And most recently, as an author, releasing her first book called The Pretty One on life, pop culture, disability, and other reasons to fall in love with me. Y'all get ready to fall in love as I go inside her story with Kia Brown. Good morning, Kia. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so thanks excited. For, thanks for being here. Now, you grew up. Uh, hating mirrors, but recently you posted mm-hmm. some photos of yourself uh, on your social media in which you said you feel very pretty, so y'all go check that out. Follow her at Kia Brown. Um, and you also say you just started embracing your joy and happiness four years ago, ago, even creating that hashtag we talked about, Disabled and Cute. What shifted for you, Kia, four years ago? I think a lot of it was actually effort and believing in, I think, what God had always told me, but I was never really listening to the signs. It was just me believing in myself and seeing that there there doesn't have to be a competition, especially between me and my sister, but also with me and anybody else in the world. It was like there's room for all of us. And so for me, it really just took effort every day to say four things that I like about myself with mirror and then actually believe those four things. So it was an everyday process for about a year, and I still do them, um, you know, at least twice or three times a week just to remind myself why it is that I'm doing, you know, this work of self-love. I love that. Now, you call this book The Pretty One, which is what people used to call your twin sister, Leah, when you guys were growing up. Um, And you two have not had the greatest relationship over the years. Why was this the perfect title for your book? I think because I've spent the last few years trying to make up for those years that I was very mean to her. Um, And for me, I just realized that we could both be pretty. You know what I mean? Like there's room for both of us and there's room for her to be the pretty one, but also for me to be the pretty one. And so in writing this book, and there's a particular essay within the book, I kind of use it to apologize to her for being the person that I was then and let her know that I'm going to be the sister that she deserves from now on. And how is the relationship with Leah now since you've been working on it? It's really good. I mean, we, we're very we're much more open with each other, and again, I'm much more kinder, and I think we have a lot more fun than we used to. Mm, that's nice. Now, your writing is very funny, <laughs> also very Thank honest. You. you even talk about um, suicidal thoughts you had at one, at one point. Uh, were there some parts mm-hmm. of this book that were difficult to write or that you almost left out? Um, there was a lot of it that I almost left out, but I felt like I wanted to be honest when I was writing the book. And I think for me to tell my full scale journey so far, I had to be Um, very clear about the tough parts because I don't want people to think that, you know, she just suddenly loves herself and that's it. But I mean, it took actual work. Um, I think the hardest parts for me to write about, though, were actually the parts about my grandmother and my Uncle Scott. Those were really hard to get through. Um, Even saying them out loud during the audio book was a bit tough. But um, I knew that for me to tell a full story that I was going to be proud of, I had to mention the tough spots, too. Now, you know, there's so much that you could talk about when it comes to disability in this book, but it's about so much more. Why did you not want to just focus on disability? I think because I'm a fully realized human being. So 
I do have a disability and it is an important part of my life, but it's not all that there is to me. You know, I love pop culture and I talk about that in the book. I love music. I think sometimes when we get or when we hear stories rather about disabled people, that's all that we hear about. We don't hear about who they are as people, what they enjoy, what they like. It's just their sole purpose or personality, especially in pop culture, is just about their disability. Okay, now we love music here on the TJMS. Who's on your playlist? Top three. Top three. Ooh, tough choice. I like a lot of Mary J. Blige. Just Fine was a bop that I was really into for quite some time. <laughs> um, Beyonce, of course. Of course. And let me see who else. Um, I like SZA. Demetria. Hilarious. Don't do that. <laughs> say Demetria. Don't do that. Silly skin. Yeah, Demetria. Of say Rihanna. Of course. Demetria, of course. There you go. <laughs> now, She's I thinking do, that the whole time. I know, I know. Now, I do want to talk about something pretty amazing that happened to you. Speaking of pop culture, um, Marie Claire UK, you wrote the cover story with actress Brie Larson. She requested you for that interview for her movie, Captain Marvel. How did you two become acquainted? Twitter, actually. Really? <laughs> we, yeah, we started following each other on Twitter. And um, we were talking about, you know, life and other things. And I was congratulating her for all the work that she was doing. But um, we just sort of connected that way. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so the book is The Pretty One. Where can people find out more about you on social media? Kia. Uh, at KiaBrown.com, that's K-E-A-H-B-R-O-W-N.com. I'm on Twitter at Kia underscore Maria, M-A-R-I-A. That's both Twitter and Instagram, and I'm at Facebook at the Kia Brown. All right, Kia, thank you so much. The book is The Pretty One. Thank, thank you. you so much on life, pop culture, disability, and other reasons to fall in love with me. All right. Thank you, lady. Congratulations on the book. I tell you what, Kia thank Brown, so I'm, we admire you so much, and you have such a great self-esteem. Thank Absolutely. you for being on the show. Jackie Reed, that's wonderful. Thank you for having me. All right, sweetheart.